Hey everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's day one coverage of VMware Explorer 2022, live from San Francisco. I'm Lisa Martin and I'm basically sitting with the cloud. I got a power panel here with me. You are not going to want to miss this segment. Please welcome Narayan Bardawaj. I probably, did I do okay on that? Great. Thank you. VP and GM of Cloud Solutions at VMware, thanks for joining us. Phil Brotherton is back, our alumni, VP Solutions and Alliances at NetApp. Hi, Phil, Lisa. great to see you in yeah, person. Thank you. And Steve Jones, GM, SAP, and VMware Cloud at Amazon. Welcome, thank guys. Thank you. Thank so you. we've got VMware, NetApp, and Amazon. I was telling Phil before we went live, I was snooping around on the NetApp website the other day and I saw a tagline that said, two's a company, three's a cloud. <laughs> Thought, I get to sit with the cloud, this is fantastic. <laughs> now Ryan, talk to us about the big news that came out just about 24 hours ago with yeah. these three powerhouses. We're super excited, we're celebrating five years of VMware Cloud this week, and with three powerhouses here, we're announcing the general availability of VMware Cloud and AWS with uh, NetApp on tap via F AWS FSx. And so this solution is now generally available across all global regions, and we are super excited with all our joint customers and partners to bring this to the market. So, Steve, give us your perspective of, as AWS, as you know, the biggest hyperscaler. Talk about the importance of the partnership and the long-standing partnerships that you've had with both NetApp and VMware. Yeah, you bet. So first, I'll, maybe I'll start with Narayan and VMware. So we've had a very long-standing partnership uh, with VMware for over five years now. Um, one thing that we've heard consistently from customers is they, they want help in reducing the heavy lifting or the, the friction. And, typically comes with cloud adoption, and VMware's been right in the trenches with us and helping with that over the years with the VMware Cloud on AWS offering. And, and now that we've got NetApp, right, the FSx ONTAP solution, a managed storage solution that is, is uh, been known and trusted in the on-premises world, uh, now available uh, since September on AWS, but now available for use with VM, VMware Cloud, is just amazing for customers who are looking uh, for that agility. Right, Phil, yeah. talk about, NetApp has done a phenomenal job in its own digital transformation journey. Talk about that as an enabler for what you announced yesterday and the, and the capabilities that NetApp is able to bring to its customers with VMware and with AWS. Yeah, you know, it started, it's interesting because we, NetApp's always been a company that works very closely with our partners. VMware's been a huge partner of ours since uh, gosh, 2005 probably, or sometime like that. I started working with Amazon back in about 2013, 2014, when we first took ONTAP and brought it to the Amazon platform in the marketplace, ahead of what's now FSXN's like a dream to bring a fully managed ONTAP onto the world's biggest cloud. So that work, you're really looking at about, I mean, it depends how you look at it, 15 years of work, and then as Ryan was saying that VMware was working in parallel with us on being a first party service on Amazon. We came together, and Ryan and I came together and VMware and NetApp came together about, probably about two years ago now, with this vision of what we're announcing today. And to have, so to have GA of this combination for, meaning global availability, anybody can try it today, it's just an amazing day. It's really a great day. Yeah, it's unbelievable how we have sort of partnered together on hard engineering problems to create a very simple outcome for customers and partners. One of the things, you know, uh, VMware Cloud is a very successful service offering with a lot of great consumption in different verticals. Uh, things like cloud migration, uh, you know, transforming your entire, you know, data center and moving to the cloud. Um, things like, you know, modernizing your apps, disaster recovery, now ransomware this week. So really, really exciting uptake and innovation in that whole service. One thing customers always told us that they want more options for storage decoupled from compute. And so that really helped customers to lower their total cost of ownership and get to, you know, get even more workloads into VMware Cloud. And this partnership really creates that opportunity for us to provide customers with those options. Let me give you an example. Just, I was walking over here, just before I walked over here, we were with a customer talking about exactly what Narayan's talking about. We were modeling using a TCO calculator that we've all put together as well. Um, on what we call data intensive workloads, which is in this case it was uh, 500 gigabytes per VM. So not a huge amount of data per VM. The, the case study modeled out a 38% cost savings or reduction in total cost, which in the case was like 1.2 million per year of total cost down to 700 million. And then just you could do the, 
Just depends on how many VMs you have and how big a loads you have, but that's the kind of cost savings we're talking about. So the, this is a really easy value to talk about. You save a lot of money, and it's exactly as Narayan said, because we can separate the compute and the storage. Yep. Yep. I was just going to say, the reason for that is it used to be with VMware Cloud on AWS, if you wanted more storage for your workload, you would have to add another node. So with another node, you would get, or another compute node, you would get the compute, you'd get the memory, right. and the storage. But now, we've actually decoupled the ability to expand the storage footprint uh, from the compute, allowing customers to really expand as their needs grow. And so it's, uh, it's just a lot it, more flexibility yep. that customers had. Yeah. Flexibility is key. Every customer needs that. They need to be agile. There's always a competitor waiting in the rear view mirror behind any yeah. business waiting to take over. If they can't innovate fast enough, if they can't partner with the best of the best to deliver the infrastructure that's needed to enable those business outcomes. I want to get your perspective, Steve. What are some of the outcomes that when you're talking to customers, you talked about, Phil, the TCO, those are huge numbers, very compelling. What are some of the other outcomes that customers can expect to achieve from this solution? That's a great question. I think uh, look, customers want the flexibility we talked about. Uh, customers absolutely want to be able to move fast. They're also uh, very demanding customers who have had an experience with uh, solutions like NetApp on tap on premises, right? So they've come to expect uh, enterprise features like uh, thin provisioning, snapshotting, cloning, rapid cloning, right? And even replication of data. Given that customers now can uh, leverage this type of functionality as well through the NetApp solution with VMC, they're getting all those enterprise class features from, from the storage in combination with what they already had with vSAN and, and VMC. And Steve earlier mentioned, uh, the word we use, we kind of took it from VMware, or from um, Amazon, was friction. Is so many workloads run in VMware VMs today, to be able to just simply pick them up as is, move them to Amazon, makes cloud adoption just, I mean frictionless is an extreme word, but it really lowers the friction to cloud adoption. And as Steve said, then you've got all these enterprise features just, wherever you need to run. It just brings speed. I yeah. was just about to say, it's got to be, a, the speed it has to be a huge factor here. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. I mean, yeah. One of the things that we've seen with VMware Cloud is operational consistency as, as a customer value because when customers are thinking about you know, complex enterprise apps, moving that to the cloud, uh, they need that operational consistency which drives down their costs. They don't have to uh, relearn new skills. Um, they're used to VMware, they're used to NetApp. And so this partnership really fosters that operational consistency as a big customer value, and they can reuse those skills and really reapply them in this cloud model. The other thing is, the cloud model here is super completely managed. If you think about that, right, customers have to do less. VMware, AWS, and NetApp is doing more for them in this model. So you're able to really deliver a lot of it, workforce efficiency, workforce productivity across the stack. Absolutely. I mean, and that's definitely true yeah. that IT just, as IT gets more complex, how do you manage it? Just continue, you hear everybody talking about this, right? So when a completely managed service by VMware and Amazon is such a savings in, com in management complexity, which then gets back to speed. How do I grow my plant faster? I mean, really, at the end of the day, customers are actually able to focus on what differenti differentiates them, obviously, versus the management of the underlying infrastructure, storage, and all those, those and things that are still critical, things. but exactly. But yeah. for, for the customer to be able to have to ha abstract the underlying, te underlying technology layer and focus on what differentiates them from the competition, that's like I said, right back here, that's, right. that's especially if there's anything we've learned in the last couple of years, it's that it, that is critical for businesses across every industry. No Absolutely. industry is exempt from this. None. One other thing, just an example of what you're talking about is um, we all work a lot on modernization techniques like using Kubernetes and container technologies. So with this, if you think about this, you, this solution, you can move an app as is, modernize on the cloud, you can modernize, you can modernize and then move. You can, the, the flexibility that this enables, like, so it's sort of like move to the cloud at your rate is a really big benefit. And we've yeah. seen so many customer examples of migrate and modernize is how we like to summarize it, where customers are you know, migrating, modernizing at their own pace. Yep. And the good, good thing about the platform and the service is that it is the home for all applications, virtual machines, containers with Kubernetes, backed by local storage, external storage options. The level of flexibility 
uh, for all applications is really immense and that drives down your TCO even more. From a target customer perspective, Norian, talk about that. Who is the target? Obviously, I imagine it's VMware customers, it's NetApp customers, it's AWS, but is there, are there any targets kind of within that that are really prime candidates for this solution? Yeah, a great question. Uh, first of all, the, the easy sort of overlap between all of us is our shared customer pool. And so VMware and NetApp have been partners for what, 20 years, something like that. Mm -hmm. And we have thousands of customers using our joint solutions in the data center. And so that's a very clear target for this solution as they're considering use cases such as you know, cloud migration, disaster recovery, virtual desktops, application modernization. So that's a very clear target and we see this day in and day out. Um, uh, obviously there are many other customers that would be interested in this solution as well as they're considering you know, AWS. And we provide a whole range of consumption options for them, right? And I think that's uh, one of the sort of the, the good things about our partnership, including with AWS, where Customers can purchase this from VMware, can purchase this from AWS, and all of these different options, including from our partners, really makes it very, very compelling. Talk a little bit about, from each of your perspectives, about the what's in it for me as a partner of these companies. Steve, we'll start with you. I mean, what's in it for me is that uh, it's what my customers have been asking for, um, and uh, we, we have a long history, I think, of providing managed services um, again, to remove that heavy lifting that customers often just don't want to have to do. Um, having seen the, the adoption of uh, managed storage offerings, including uh, the, the NetApp solution here, um, and now being able to bring that into the VMware space, where they're already using it uh, in an on-premises world, and now they're moving those, those workloads. Um, being able to satisfy that need that a customer is asking for is awesome. We, every time we're at an AWS event, we are always talking about its absolute customer obsession. And I oh, know yeah. NetApp and VMware mm -hmm. well and know that that is a shared obsession across the three companies. Hey, Lisa, let me add one more thing. It's, it's interesting, not everybody sees this, but it's really obvious that the NetApp on-prem install base with VMware, which is tens of thousands of customers, this is an awesome solution. Not quite as obvious is that every on-prem VMware customer gets that TCO benefit I mentioned. That's not limited to the NetApp on-prem installed base. So we're really excited to be able to expose all the market that hasn't used our products on-prem to this cloud solution. And, and it's really clear customers are adopting the cloud, right? So we're, that's one of the reasons we're so excited about this is it opens up a huge new opportunity to work with uh, new customers for us. Talk about those customer conversations, Phil. How, where are they happening? At what level are you talking with customers about migration to cloud? Has it you know, changed in the last couple of years? Oh yeah, you know, I've been working on this for years and a lot of the on-prem conversation, it's been a little bifurcated that on-prem is on-prem and cloud developers are cloud developers and Amazon's done a huge amount to break that down. VMware getting in the game. A lot of its networking complexities, those have gone down. A lot of people are cross-connected and set up today, which that wasn't so true five years ago. So now it's a lot of conversations about, I hear carbon footprint reduction, I hear data, all in around data center reduction. The cloud guys are super efficient operators of data center infrastructure. Uh, we we're talking about different use cases like disaster recovery. It's, it's everybody though, it's small companies, it's big companies. They're all sort of moving into this, they call it at least hybrid world. And that's why when I say we're getting really excited about this because it, it does get rid of a lot of friction for moving loads in those directions at the rate the customer wants to do it. One last really quick thing is, sure. I always use NetApp as an example. We have about 300 enterprise workloads. We want to move to the cloud too. Right? And so they're all run in VMware, like most, <laughs> most of the world. And so this solution is, looks really good to us. And we're going to do the exact, I was just out with our CIO, we're going to, looking at those 300, which do we just lift and move? Which do we refactor? And how do we do that? In fact, that does, Ryan was out to dinner with us last night talking <laughs> about this. It's more and more it's being driven top down. So in the early yeah. days, uh, and I've been with Amazon for 10 years now. No. Early days it was kind of uh, developer oriented, uh, often initiated projects. Now it's uh, top level yeah, CIOs. I heard two mandates exactly. today talking to customers. I think of reInvent as an IT conference now <laughs> and the way some of these top down mandates are driven. But listen, I mean, we got great customer interest. We have been in preview for three to six months now right. and 
we've seen a lot of customers were not able to drag their entire data center workloads because of different reasons of right. TCO, data intensive workloads, et cetera. And we've seen tremendous amounts of interest from them. And we're also seeing a lot of new customers in the pipeline that want to consider VMware Cloud now that we have these great storage options. So there's a pretty healthy TAM I'm hearing. Absolutely. I think so. Yeah. It's interesting, another just, um, both like WWT and Presidio, channel partners, big huge channel partners. Um, it takes no selling to explain. We, we just say, hey, we're doing this, and they start building services. Um, Presidio is here with us talking about a customer win that they got. So this is, it, it's easy for people to see why this is uh, a, cool, a cool solution. The value prop is there. It, Definitely. There's no having to peel the onion to find it. No, the money savings, it's yeah. just what Narayan said, a lot of people have seen the, the uh, seen an obstacle of cost, yeah. so the TCO benefit I mentioned removes that obstacle, and then that opens the door to all the features Steve was talking about of the advanced storage features and things on the platform. So is there a customer that's been in beta on this solution that you can talk about in, in terms of what they were looking for, the challenges that you help them erase, and the outcomes they're achieving? Yeah, sure, I can, I can provide one example. A large financial customer was uh, looking at this during the preview phase, and you know, for, for, for reasons before that, they were already a customer, but they were not able to attract a lot of their other workloads from other business units. And with this solution now, uh, the service is a much better candidate for those workloads and those business units that had not considered VMware Cloud. So we're really excited uh, to see new workloads coming from that particular customer, uh, given this particular solution. And the whole TCO math for them was very, very straightforward and simple. And this became a more attractive option for that particular customer. Is there a, a, a shadow IT elimination factor here in this technology uh, and, and who you're selling to? Not really, I don't. Not intentionally. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, that. yeah, not intentionally. <laughs> I, it was funny, with the customers, I was thinking as you asked the question, the, the customers that are in um, the preview are seeing the benefits that we're talking about. The, one of the reasons we started the project on our side a number of years ago was this very large cement company was looking for um, carbon, is CO2 reduction. Uh, part of that was moving uh, disaster recovery to the cloud. There was a lot of friction in the solution. Prior to this, the, the customers have done some of the things we're talking about, but there's a, it takes a lot of skill. And we were looking at working with that customer going, how could we simplify this? And that was, from our point of view, NetApp's point of view, it drove us to VMware and to AWS saying, can't we pull some of the friction of this out? And I think that, that's what we've seen in the, in the previews. And it's, that's what I meant, it's so exciting to go from having, say, I don't know, we have about 20 previews right now, going to the globe today. Is the, is the exciting news today. And is the solution here in booths that it can be demoed and folks can kind of get their hands on it? Yeah, yeah they so can go to the VMware Cloud booth at the expo and they can get their hands on the demo and they can take it for a test drive. Excellent. You can and run TCO calculators and do your own math and see what you're going to, all this, the, all that's integrated um, today. We also have pilots where we can help walk customers through a scenario of their own. Yeah. Excellent, is there, is there a, a joint website that you guys have where we should drive folks to? Yeah. <laughs> It's actually talk about the press release. Yours. It's yours. So it's, <laughs> it's prominently on our website, okay. uh, VMware Cloud. Uh, it is on vmc.vmware.com, but we also have the other, uh, you know, our corporate marketing websites that have this. VMware.com is a great starting point. Yeah. And uh, we feature the solution prominently. Customers can get started today. And uh, they can even participate in the hands-on labs here and take the solution for a test drive. All right, last question, Narayan, we'll start with you on this. Here we are, I love the theme of this event the center of the multi-cloud universe. Does it not sound like a Marvel movie? <laughs> I feel like there should be some, is there any superheroes running around? Because I really yes. feel like there should be. How is this solution an enabler of allowing customers to really extract the most value from their multi-cloud world that they're living in? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, our mission is to build, run, manage, secure applications in any cloud, right? And Raghu has been talking about this at the keynote this morning as well. Uh, you know, at least with NetApp, we share a very good joint vision of enabling customers to you know, place applications uh, with really good TCO across clouds. And so it's a really good story, I feel, and I think this is a really good step in that direction where customers have choice and flexibility in terms of where they put their applications and the TCO value that they get. Awesome. Guys, you got to come back next with a customer. I would love to dig it, maybe at reInvent. 
Sounds we can like dig into more and to see a great story of how a customer awesome. came together and is really leveraging the, the power that is sitting next to me here. Thank you all so much for joining me and having this great conversation. Congratulations on the announcement and, and it being GA. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, all Lisa. right, fun conversation. I told you, power panel for my guests. I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE. Keep it right here for more live coverage of VMware Explore 2022 from downtown San Francisco. We'll be right back with our next guest. Thank you.